Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 2.7. Read each statement below carefully and state with the reasons and examples if it is true or false. A particle in one dimensional motion. Here we are taking only one dimensional motion, not two dimensional motion. With the zero speed at an instant may have non-zero acceleration at that instant. This statement is true, can be possible. How means? If a body is thrown vertically upwards, after reaching maximum height, the body returns back. So at maximum height, the speed is zero, but with the non-zero acceleration, A is not is equal to zero, but A is equal to G value that is 9.8 meter per second square. So what we can write the answer when a body is thrown vertically upwards. Then at its highest point or maximum height, the body is momentarily with zero speed or at rest and acceleration is not zero, non-zero acceleration. Coming to the second part B. With the zero speed may have non-zero velocity. This statement is false. How can we say that Speed is the magnitude of velocity and the magnitude of non-zero velocity cannot be zero. So we can write the answer here is false for the previous one answer is true coming to c with constant speed must have zero acceleration this statement is true with constant speed have zero acceleration but if you are taking it is in the case of two dimensional motion this statement will be wrong but here we are discussing about only one dimensional motion so the statement is true answer is 
when a body is moving in a uniform motion with the same speed in the same direction in this case acceleration will be zero while coming to d with the positive value of acceleration must be speeding this statement is false the positive value of acceleration must be speeding up for this one i will give you a diagrammatic explanation so this is the velocity axis assume that it is zero it is 1 meter per second it is 2 meters per second 3 meters per second 4 meters per second and 5 meters per second is taken as pass to towards right so whenever if we are taking in this way when a body has acceleration in the direction of velocity then the body is speeding up in this case it can be true but if suppose if the body is changing its direction and it is traveling then we can take this 5 is minus 5 4 is minus 4 3 is minus 3 2 is minus 2 and it is minus 1 in this case what will happen to acceleration if i am taking any two points so this is the point a suppose it is point b so final velocity at a minus velocity at b divided by time interval so what will happen minus 2 minus of minus 3 divided by some time this is nothing but 1 by t there is Plus one by t. That means it is positive value. So what I can write? The answer here is false. When the direction of acceleration is positive but the body is having velocity in the negative direction so the body will slow down as per if i am taking this is the diagram figure b so this statement can be true if i am taking the first one is figure a it can be true when a body
as acceleration in the direction of velocity and the direction is taken as positive the body is speeding up as shown in figure a yeah. so as shown in figure a the statement will be true as shown in figure b the statement is false but here false probability is there that's why we are putting the answer is false so this is the true or false statements with proper justification thank you